families of curves, our next topic. So the procedure is just the same as that of elimination of arbitrary constants. Now, what is uh, this topic of families of curves? So as mentioned in the previous discussion of the lecture, a differential equation is represented by a family of solutions. For example, yung given natin, uh, we have there, the first one was uh, about the differential equation in which you have x cubed minus 3x squared y is equal to c. That c is an arbitrary constant in which you can have several values of the parameters involved. So some of the family of solution can be interpreted geometrically. Now, we shall apply elimination of arbitrary constants to generate differential equations of some typical curves, including lines. These curves may represent solutions of differential equations that will be studied in the future. Let us recall some of the formulas of the curves. So we will be utilizing any of this in the succeeding uh, discussion of the solution involving families of curves, depending on whether we are talking of lines, circle, ellipse, hyperbola, parabola, and others. So for equations of straight lines, let us recall that the general form is ax plus by plus c equals zero. If we are to use the point-slope form, you have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, wherein m is the slope and the points, point is the coordinate points are x1, y1. The slope-intercept form, y is equal to mx plus b, the two-point form, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. The intercept form is in the form of x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. And the normal form of an equation of a straight line is x cosine alpha plus y sine alpha is equal to rho. Okay, so remember, uh, this uh, formulas of or equations of straight lines. Now, for a circle with center at hk and radius r, that would be the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equal to r squared, wherein hk again is the center and r is the radius. For an ellipse with center at HK, semi-minor axis A, and semi-minor axis B. So you have this uh, equation. That is an equation of an ellipse. The square of X minus H over A squared plus the square of Y minus K over B squared equals 1. Or it can be the square of Y minus K over A squared plus the square of x minus hb squared is equal to 1. Then for hyperbola, with center at hk, semi-transverse axis A and semi-conjugate axis B, you have these two formulas depending on to which uh, side the hyperbola opens. And then the Equation of a parabola with vertex at hk and focal distance a. The square of y minus k is equal to 4a times x minus h. Or the square of x minus h is equal to 4a times y minus k. Which is again dependent on where does the parabola open. Is it to the left or to the right, then downward or upward? And then another one is an equilateral hyperbola with center at the origin having an equation of x, y is equal to c. So it depends on what is the family that is being asked for in the problem. And whichever is the applicable equation for that certain family of curves. 
Okay, example number one. Find the differential equation representing all lines passing through the origin. Okay? We are also asked to draw some members of the family. So if we are asked to draw a family of lines passing through the origin, so we will just draw any line provided that it will pass through the origin 0, 0. Okay? So if we are trying to draw some of them, it will be in this form. Or any, any line that will pass through the origin. So you can add more to this uh, family of lines. So we are just asked for some members. So you can have, say, three, four, or five members of the family so that you can see clearly in the graph uh, the characteristics of those members of the family. Again, the uh, requirement is that the lines should pass through the origin. So all of them pass through 0, 0. Okay? So what would be the applicable equation of the line that we are going to use here? So let us try to solve. So for this, since the lines are to pass through the origin, we can actually use the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. And since all of them are passing through the origin, your b is equal to 0, or the y-intercept. Right? Then therefore, remaining now is y is equal to mx. Okay? And since we, ha we now have only one arbitrary constant to be eliminated, which is m, then we are allowed only to differentiate it once. And taking the derivative, that would be y prime is equal to m. No? And then, we now have here y prime is equal to m, so we can substitute it here. Let me label this as your equation 1. This is your equation 2, and this is your equation 3. And then we substitute 3 to 2. And therefore, what is now the equation? That would be y is equal to x, y prime. Okay? Or, you can put it in this way. Let us just arrange the order in terms of the derivative. So you have here x, y prime minus y is equal to 0. And that is now the differential equation, which represents all lines passing through the origin. The procedure that we use is just the same in the first topic, elimination of arbitrary constants. The only difference is that previously, we are given of the equation already, and we are just to eliminate the arbitrary constants. Here, you need to give first what is the equation or the formula that represents the problem statement. If we are asked for families of lines, then you have to choose from any of the standard and general form or formulas of equation of a line. Next, problem number two. Problem number two, we are asked to find a DE representing all lines with slope of two-thirds. And again, we are asked to draw some members of the family. We are given of slope. Okay, so therefore, with this idea of having the slope, excuse me, we can use again the same equation of a line in slope and intercept form. But first, let us draw the some members of the family. The requirement is that the slope should be equal to two-thirds. Okay, so you know already how to draw uh, lines with a slope of two-thirds. So change in y should be two and change in x should be three. Or you can have it in uh, ratio and proportion, provided that uh, the lowest term or its equivalent is just simply two-thirds. 
Okay, so these are the members of the family. You can draw additional lines provided that the slope is two-thirds. Okay, then now we saw it. Again, we are going to use our equation of a line. Y is equal to mx plus b. And we are given of the slope m, wherein m is equal to two-thirds. So, substituting m, so y is equal to two-thirds x plus b. So, we only have here one arbitrary constant to be eliminated, which is b. And therefore, we take its first derivative, y prime is equal to two-thirds. Okay? And then, nothing. That is the differential equation that we are looking for. The first derivative of y is equal to two-thirds, or simply y prime is equal to two-thirds. Or if you want to equate it to zero, then you can write y prime minus two-thirds is equal to zero. That's easy. But you have, again, to choose which is the applicable uh, equation of a line considering the given in the problem. We are given of the slope, then use the slope-intercept form. Problem number three. Find the DE representing all circles with a center at the origin, and then draw some members of the family. So now we have an example of circles, and the requirement is that the family should have center at the origin. When we are going to draw that, then this is the figure. Any circle provided that the center is at the origin regardless of its radius. Because that is just the requirement with center at the origin. And therefore, what will be the... Uh, equation of a circle that we are going to use. So starting with the general form, you have here quantity x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. But given is center of the circle at the origin, hk is 0, 0. Therefore, you have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And we are to eliminate only x is, uh, r squared. Okay? So we now take the derivative. So this is 2x dx plus 2y dy is equal to 0. Common to the two terms is 2, so you can divide both sides of the equation by 2. And uh, and then uh, you have here x dx plus y dy is equal to zero. Okay, that would be now the differential equation upon eliminating r square. If the problem says, for example, for a different value of h and k, then you just substitute the values of the center of the circle. Whatever is the center uh, coordinate points, then you will just substitute it in this equation and do the necessary derivatives. Now we go to the next example, example number four. Let me give you a parabola. So for this, find the differential equation representing all parabolas with vertex at the origin and focus located on the y-axis. Draw some members of the family. So take note of the requirement that you have 
vertex at the origin and focus located on the y-axis. So it means that the parabolas are opening upward or downward. And this is the figure of some of the members of the family. Okay? So what is the applicable uh, equation of the parabola if we have opening upward or downward or meaning that the uh, focus is located on the y-axis. So, recalling the formulas that I presented a while ago, you will have your equation in a form of x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4a times y minus k. But it is stated that again, the vertex which is in the form of hk is at the origin so h h equals zero and k is also equal to zero no and therefore you have now x square is equal to four a y so what we have to eliminate here is a and therefore again there is only one arbitrary constant to be eliminated and therefore we differentiate it once. Differentiating it once, you have, sorry, let me erase that. Okay, so you have here your uh, derivative. You have here, oh no, why what happened? 2x or a is 2x dx over dy. Okay, and then we just substitute this for a. So substitute 4a to this equation. Okay? And then you have the resulting equation. x squared is equal to our 4a is 2x. You have here dx dy times y. Or simply x squared is equal to 2xy over y prime. Or, rearranging the terms, that would be x squared y prime oh no x squared y prime is equal to 2xy. And we can divide both sides of the equation by x, which will result to x, ah, which result to x, y prime is equal to 2y. Or, if we try to rearrange the terms to have it equated to 0, you have x, y prime minus 2y is equal to 0. Okay? And that is now the differential equation that we are looking for.